Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly wash your Angora items. And this applies to wool, all wool as well. Sheep's wool, alpaca. So of course you could use your sinks and do this indoors. I'm just outside today because it's such a nice day and you guys can see better. But this is the kind of soap that I prefer to use. It's about $20 a bottle, but a little bit goes a long way and it, it is made just for uh, wool. So you don't have to worry about the soap damage in your wool items at all. And another option that's probably going to be easier for most people is to just buy baby shampoo. It was a dollar a bottle. This is the lavender. It smells really good. And it'll be just fine. So what you do is you would just fill up your sink with some lukewarm water. Put a good squirt of soap. Mix it in. Then you would put in your wool item. This is actually um, an Angora, uh, not cowl, uh, shawl, shawl that I made last year. So then you just dunk it in a little bit, let it soak. You can gently kind of squeeze the water through it to clean it. Now what you don't really want to do is you don't want to twist this or pull it. Cause you could kind of stretch it out you know so if i had two hands i would just press the water out of it as much as possible i only have one hand so i can't really do that and then you would just move it to your ri rinse water there's no soap in this again this is just lukewarm water you want to keep both of these right around the same temperature wool whether angora or sheep's wool uh, it will felt if you have major swings in temperature. You don't want that. So then you just give this a rinse to get the soap out. I'm going to see if I can put you up here. Okay, perfect. And then you would just try to squeeze out as much as you can. This is a pretty big towel. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over to my towel. There it is. Just kind of open it up a little bit. And now I'm just going to roll it. And then you just squish the water out of it. As much as you can. And that's it. Then you would just put it in a sunny spot. I have this spot right here. Um, you could put it, if you have a wood stove, put it by the wood stove, by a vent, by a fan, something with airflow preferably. But yeah, then you would just lay this out and it will dry in no time. And that's it. So I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, yeah, and I'll do my best to answer them. So, here you are.